Thank you for signing up to this meditation journey where I'm inviting you to join me as we walk together and climb the hill of the Kalyach, Shliav Nakali, in order to commune and meet with her and to return home to her place, her ancient sacred seat of power on the stone throne. So my name's Emer Stassen. I invite you to get comfortable exactly where you are and to take three deep breaths to support and ground you on this meditation journey. You arrive at the foot of the mountain, Shliav Nakali, and you begin to walk upwards. Your path is adorned with the sacred hawthorn tree that is just coming into bloom at this time of Bjalthana. This is the tree of the fairies. You reach out your hands and you touch and caress the beautiful green leaves and notice their softness at this time of new and fresh growth. You see the path unfold before you, the emerald green grassy path that has been etched out and flattened over the eons of visitors and pilgrims of witches and druids that have come to this place as a power place, as a place of ritual and ceremony and a place of celebration. You ascend the hill as you climb up stopping at intervals to take in the beautiful panoramic views around across the lands of Ireland where so many counties come into view. You hear the sounds of the birds, the sounds and the songs of springtime And in the distance, you hear the call of the skylarks who are nesting now around her home, the home of the Kalya. As you get closer, you feel your excitement mounting. And you notice this deep knowing rising up within you. That you've been here before. That you have visited this site many a time in lives gone past. For this place has been here for over 5,000 years. You step through the gate, the entrance to this site. And the songs of the skylarks get louder now and beckon you forward. Their song is like a sweet symphony, as if they are singing your soul home. And you take in the rounded belly of this rocky cairn that was created by the Kalyach herself. For she is the almighty witch, the creator of the Celtic lands. And Loch Crewe is one of power places 
around Ireland where her energy remains. So I invite you to step inside this story with me and to feel into her power again. This power that is as much a part of the land and the landscape as it is a part of your inner landscape. For this is the time to remember, to invite all these parts of yourself back home to heal, to integrate as you step forth. You have arrived at the entranceway to her home on Schlieve Nicalia at Loch Crew. You look around and notice many other rocks that are strewn here and there on the hill stone circles, stone crosses, and different kinds of stone arrangements adorned with shapes and spirals and also weathered across the eons of time, coated with lichen, lichen, yellows and greens and whites, as if these muscles know the power and the energy and the vibration emitted from these stones. Stones that were cast from the Kaliach's apron as she jumped across the mountains. Stones that created this landscape. And then you hear her. You hear her voice above the songs of the skylarks and the birds. You hear her voice singing to you like a fresh spring breeze. And she whispers to you to walk around her monument, her cairn, three times in sacred ritual. And you do as she asks, For the Kaliach is one witch that you don't want to mess with. Her fierce commands must be obeyed. So you step forth and you begin your journey clockwise, taking in the different sizes and shapes of the stones that act as a supportive boundary around her care that is adorned with rocks, smaller in size, loosely placed. Some have tumbled down to the grass. And you reach out your hand as you walk and you touch the different rocks. You allow your fingers to glide along, noticing the texture and the sensation. The warmth that exudes from these rocks, that have absorbed the sun and the light 
over millennia. You notice the finer details on each of these rocks. And you feel for their tales, their stories and their sharings. For these rocks, they are the ancient storytellers. They hold the wise lore encased and held within their rocky minerals. The Kalyach asks for you to pay attention. Pay exquisite attention to the different sensory experiences that you are having now. For these are your messages, especially for you. And once you have completed your ritual, clockwise three times around the cairn, cairn tea, as it's now called, the Kalyach's home at Loch Crew. You feel an urge to go within the monument, inside, into the darkness. But the Kalyach steps forth now out of the shadows to reveal herself to you. You gaze at each other lovingly, eyes to eyes, face to face, communing once again as soul friends. You reach out your hands to each other. And it's as if time is standing still. As you feel the rumbles of the earth beneath you. As if our earthen mother too wishes to welcome you home. Home to her land. Home to Ireland. So the Kalia keeps hold of one of your hands and walks by your side to guide you towards the northerly direction which is the direction on the Celtic medicine wheel, the witch's wheel, upon which the Kalyach resides over. You walk together hand in hand, and she guides you towards the throne. the throne that you have already passed three times in your ritual walk. And you stop before this beautiful giant stone that has been here for over 5,000 years, carved lovingly into the shape of a throne. The Kalyach reminds you of the sacred mantra that was shared 
with your guide here. And she asks for this to be shared now. Witches, rise up, return to your power. Witches, rise up, now is the hour. Witches, rise up and step on to your throne. Witches, rise up, it's time to come home. And she asks that you remember this mantra and continue to repeat it after today and this experience will continue to deepen within you. The Kalyach urges you now to carry out these instructions. For it's time now for you to climb up upon the cairn careful now because some of the rocks are a bit loose and maybe slippy in the rain. She helps you climbing up and then you reach out one foot and you step back on to the throne. Two feet now. You stand squarely on this giant stone throw carved by the ancients, your ancient ancestors, whose memory continues to run and flow through your bloodline, through the waters of your body, just as they do through the rivers and the lakes and the land beneath your feet. You notice the view and you feel the energy rising from beneath your feet as your souls make contact with the stone. Here you are, standing upon your throne. You feel a joy and elation, as well as a release. And a relief, perhaps. And the Kalyach stands before you now, and she asks that you take a seat on this throne. It's surprisingly comfortable. And perhaps you want to lounge out as if it is a chaise long. Take as long as you need to sit here and to receive any messages. And while you're sitting here, the Kalyach Besides, she would like to join you and sits by your side. Her hair blows in the wind. Her hands are soft and aged. Wise hands, healing hands. She instructs you now to be silent, to go within, and to notice what's flowing through you. What stories wish to be shared with you now? In what way do you wish to adorn yourself? 
to represent your witchy self as goddess, as queen, as priestess of this land. The Kaliach hands you the golden torque necklace for you to wear. And she places a golden ring in your finger. You feel the vibration of this elemental to remind you of your gold. So take as long as you need on your throne with the Kalyach witch by your side. And enjoy all that comes through for you. And when it's time, the Kalyach invites you to jump down off the stone throne. It's quite a jump. and guides you back down the grassy path upon which you came to complete your journey. And she reminds you that you can return here anytime. You are always welcome, arms outstretched to welcome you home. For this place now is a part of you. As the witch within is reawakening and rising to support all of you, all of us, to rise and return to our power, to trust the messages to trust your intuition and to live your life and carry out your business from this place. So when you're ready, you can open your eyes and take a moment while you're in this space and state to write down or record in some way anything that emerged for you during this meditation journey. And just notice as you go about your day after this, just notice anything else that comes through for you in your waking time or in your dream time and any synchronicities because these are all messages that continue and the Kalyach witch has a mischievous way about her and likes to bring forth and orchestrate these synchronicities for you so thank you for joining me on this journey. And remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you wish to receive more videos, talks from me. And if you do wish to dive deeper into your witch, if you feel this rising and reignition of this energy within you, I would love to support you in my Mentorship for Witches program which is a six month online journey, walking the witch's wheel home to resurrect your gold. And during this program, we will commune with six of the ancient Irish witches, the ancient deities, and walk with each of the seasons so that you receive messages and wisdom and teachings that are specific to your path.
you also get to hang out in a circle of like-minded witches to speak into the circle with. So there's a link below this video, below this audio, that you can click on and find out more. Thank you for your time. See you again soon. Bye for now.